Kamala Harris. However, I have paid attention to her campaign because she's come to Georgia quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed is that every time she came to Georgia or when she went to a HBCU, mm -hmm. the tour was basically being led on women's rights and reproductive rights. And in this election, you have the nerve to have black women putting up all of these posts. I saw one so disgusting the other day. Black man, the next time a cop have his knee on your neck, don't call black women. Right? Oh, my God. But y'all don't care about black men. Y'all don't even care about black life. Mm -hmm. All you care about is power and control and feminism. You know, I'm going to ask you a simple question. I, wa I want y'all to be honest with yourselves. Whenever you heard black women express any concern over anything that didn't directly affect or include black women. Think about it. I want you to think about it. See, this is what's different between a real man uh, responding or reacting to something that is said versus these sub beta male red pill dudes. You know what I'm saying? They, they all act like little girls. The way they respond and, and, and react to stuff, they do it in a real feminine way. You know what I'm saying? This is a real man talking here. When have you heard black women in particular express any concern over any issue that didn't concern women? When Ice Cube tried to do his contract for America, whatever he called it, I don't know if that's the right name. Forgive me if I got it wrong, Cube. And he went on that show. I care about what's in this contract with black America for women. And, and it's not, we're not mentioned at all in the contract with black America. And I'm not mentioned. I mean, when you when you mention black people, you mentioning black women, so oh, don't count yourself no, out. No, yes, that's you not true. Just like, just like administration say that when they black make, people like, is no, not black like, women. Not black true. women are not included in black people. No. Okay, we know what they said. So, when you get a sister to get online that cry and, and, and accuse black men of not caring about anything that doesn't directly affect them, it's just a bit delusional and hypocritical you know all y'all act like demons and devils these days bro y'all just have no moral compass none of y'all man and this is why i'm telling you, we need a new black community bro you know what I'm saying we was never like this people look bro i've been black a long time and i grew up around all black people i'm from an all black environment i did not go to school with whites and mexicans and all this stuff it was all blacks in the school system you know so my experience with black people is, is different from a lot of y'all experience. You know what I'm saying? I know what a black community actually looks like. And I'm telling you, man, we was never this wishy-washy, bro. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we were always taught a certain, certain line of principles. You know what I'm saying? You stand on what you stand on. If you're gonna be one way about things, then man, you gotta, you gotta live and die with that, bro. You can't be all about women until it's, until it's, until, until you need us to support you and then accuse us of never supporting you. It's crazy, when you, when you don't give a damn about black men, black women go out of their way to let us know that they do not care about us, that they do not care about anything that affect us that don't affect them. They make it crystal clear. In fact, if we complain about anything that affect us that don't affect them, they call us weak. They tell us we need to man up. We, we, we know, butcher up all kinds of stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yet, when it comes to them, we are supposed to just forget about everything, sing kumbaya, and keep on um, blindly supporting them and their causes while we get nothing out of it. You know what I'm saying? And I just think that's, that's not only delusional, but it's very, very, very hypocritical to the point of being evil and wicked. I, I just don't know what, what, what we're looking at with these sisters. So listen to this sister go off about black men and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give a proper reaction. He crying in my room this morning, my brother gonna come up in here and say, what's wrong with you? Like he can't think of one possible reason why I would be upset right now, bro. These niggas are so f they live on another planet. And it's because none of this shit affects men. That's why men don't talk about nothing that don't directly affect them. If it does not directly affect men, they do not give a f First of all, what don't affect black men that affect black women? Or what don't affect men that affect women? Abortion does affect men. 
How many dudes have kids right now for women that look them in their eyes and said, don't worry, I won't get pregnant? How many dudes have kids right now for women who looked them in the eyes and, and swore to them that they would not get pregnant? And once them kids are born, you are expected to take care of those kids. Nonetheless, all the same. And the system and the court system is going to hold you responsible to take care of those kids. So whether a woman have abortion does affect men because there are situations where women have had abortions and the men didn't want them to have the abortion. And there are situations where the women don't have the abortion when the men want them to have the abortion. So the abortion issue does cut both ways. So I'm asking, what don't affect men that affect women? You ain't gonna be able to name one thing. The way the school system is geared right now towards the girls killing the boys, the women say nothing. They don't give a damn. They love it because as long as they are elevated above us, they are happy. As long as they are in, in a position where they feel like they are punching down on us and kicking us while we're down, they are happy. Because what they really wanted with Kamala Harris was a flex. They really wanted was an aha look niggas, we got one too moment. They wanted to vicariously live through Kamala Harris's success like they did with, um, what her name, Contend the, the Jackson, the, the Supreme Court lady, you know what I'm saying? They wanted to vicariously live through all these black women that don't give a damn about black people. Last I checked, all of these women that Biden been putting in all these high positions, all the women that he had, that he had selected, that he was picking from, he was like picking from like four of them. None of them had black husbands. Am I lying? None of them had black husbands. These are the women that y'all want to idolize. But what they want is a flex, right? They just wanted a black woman to win so they can say, ha ah, ha, look, we did it too. We. But you never hear, you never heard black men saying that Obama's win was a win for black men. If anything, they saw it as a win for black people. But black women wanted Kamala to win because they wanted a win for black women. They wanted representation that looks like them, that they can claim. That's all they care about. So for this chick to sit here and say that we don't care about anything that doesn't affect us is bull. Y'all don't care about anything that doesn't directly affect y'all. We don't have a brotherhood and we should have one. We don't have a real solid brotherhood full, full, full of real solid men. We don't have that because solid men just don't think that way. A solid man don't think like I'm all for men. That's gay to us. You know, for a man to be talking about men, I want to hang out with men. I, w I, I want to go with my boy. You know, to, to us, that's gay. We don't think like that. We we not about to get all dressed up, put put cologne on, smell good. Well, I don't wear cologne. I wear oils, you know. I'm about to put my oils on, you know, my Kush or my Somali rose. You know what I'm saying? We not about to do all this stuff, jump shop and all this stuff, just to go hang out with a whole bunch of dudes and dance on the dance floor with a whole bunch of dudes and go to the bathroom with dudes and never be seen without the dude. We're not about to, that's gay to us. But that's what black women do. That's what black women do. How many times have y'all been in a store or something that's packed and the aisles are so packed, you gotta squeeze past everybody and the black women trying to walk over you because they don't even want to look at you to acknowledge you because they might have to say excuse or pardon me or, or you know, show some kind of human gesture towards you. They don't want to do that. They go out of their way to not see you. Out of their way. I done had, the, and as big as my ass is, I done had some of these sisters almost bump into me because they refuse to look up at me. You know, you turn into the aisle, you can see them making eye contact with all the white folks. But as soon as they see you at the peripheral, or they see you turn in, they turn their head, and their head stay locked. And as they see you get closer, they moving, they about to walk through you and stuff because they don't even want to look at you. They have been trained and conditioned to see black men as an enemy, but also as a stepping stone. In other words, they use us to stand on, but they also use us to kick on and be little and put down to the, to the pleasure and delight of white society. They lie on us. You let black women tell it 
they paint all of these real horrific pictures of black men like we so abusive we trust the molester we can't be trusted we, we dishonest you know they do this to us and of course we do it to ourselves too i ain't letting you niggas off the hook we do it to ourselves too but they they do this to us and then they turn around and expect us to blindly support initiatives for gay people and trans people so that biological males can go play sports against biological females why would we support something like that bro they expect us to support the the, the, the um homosexual materials being targeted towards children what they shouldn't even no such thing should be a gay children's book bro what the hell is that what kind of what kind of idiocracy are we living in man no such thing should be a gay children's book come on man this is crazy bro this is crazy and it's and the sexual content in there first of all you shouldn't even be talking about sexuality like that in children's books we was reading see see dick jane running you know the cat catch the hat and the cat in the hat and all this crazy dr zoo you no know, we wasn't reading no damn stuff about sexuality when i was small bro why do you even have stuff about sexuality in books targeting children when you say they're not supposed to even be having sex so you got them already talking about gender for uh, uh, affirmation surgeries and all this crazy stuff but they're not supposed to be having sex y'all y'all crazy he could be gay but he's not supposed to be having how he know he gay if he's not even sexually it you know i mean that's a sexual attraction that's a sexual thing to say you homosexual come on man that stuff's not supposed to even be targeting towards children no more than heterosexual uh sexuality type stuff should be targeted towards children none of that stuff should be targeted towards children what the hell's going on here man and y'all want us to vote for that kind of stuff and when we don't y'all accuse us not having y'all back look at the look who you know y'all are tied to that y'all not tied to us black women y'all tied to them and that's a problem that we should let y'all know is a problem i think it's very dis uh, um delusional it's very dishonest it's very hypocritical for black women to accuse black men of not caring about anything that don't concern black men when we not even cut like that that's y'all with that bro that's black women with that that's black women and, and black women been like that man and they know they like that i don't know why they playing games they know exactly how they are they know this is them and they need to stop playing these games that is y'all own it now we are just responding the way we should have been responding by leaving all this shit alone like the video share the video subscribe to the channel till next time out here i'm brother kush aka the black alpha salon